referred to as the grandfather of shaken baby yes. syndrome. Well, I didn't, in fact, invent that name, so I don't think I did. Full name is Arthur Norman Guthgelch, but I've always gone by Norman because my father's best friend was called Norman, and uh, Norman was killed in World War I the day I was born. Social workers had noticed that in our area of England, one of the ways you punished a recalcitrant baby was to shake it. Not perhaps very hard. Sometimes people lost their tempers, of course, and sh shook too much. The condition seemed to be restricted to when parents were prepared to confess to shaking. Literally, it can mm -hmm. take one shake. Yep. And, and a baby can suffer serious brain damage. Serious brain this... A Queensbury man is in jail tonight accused of shaking and injuring his infant son. A daycare provider accused... A five-month-old is dead. man is behind bars accused of... Violence. Were you surprised to learn that prosecutors were using your science as a basis to convict people? Yes. Absolutely and utterly shocked. Desperately disappointed. I was against defining this thing as a syndrome in the first instance. To go on to say, every time you see it, it's a crime. It became a sort of easy way into jail. <laughs>